Hello awesome viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to learn about dictionary objects. So what are dictionary objects? And what is the use of dictionary objects in VBScript? Right? So dictionary objects are something which stores the value in a form of an array and it will be stored in a key and item. So the elements can be integer or string. So in arrays, we can create an integer array, we can create a string array, right? So here in dictionary objects, we will have the flexibility as it is an object and the items can be stored in the form of integers and strings. For example, if I want to store employee employee salary right i can store it in a proper array i can tell a got a gets 10000 rupees per month b gets 20000 rupees per month and i can retrieve that information based on the keys of an employee or the name of an employee so without further ado let's see from the beginning what are dictionary objects and how to create a dictionary object. So let me explain you. We use set for creation of an object. You would have seen in the previous videos, I have used set. The same set will be used here. So let us say dictionary object equal to so we'll be using create object. So it will be in the double quotes. Scripting dot so dictionary. What I'm doing here, I'm creating a dictionary object with this variable name. This becomes an object. So if we want to see what are the real values present in the object. I can just enter here and I'll paste the object. If I put the dot, we have many, many things. Add, compare, mode, count, exist, item, items, key, key, remove, remove, all. Right? So, so let us understand what is, what is happening here. Okay? In order to add an item to a dictionary object, let me add like this, dot. You can see add in the beginning. Just click on add. So now how to add it? Just give a space. You can see key and item, right? So key will be the name here. Let's say an employee. An item will be the value. So let's add A, right? And it should be separated by a comma. The salary is 10,000. So instead of dictionary object, well, won't it be good if I write employee, employee object, or employee data, something like that, right? And I can use this employee data same here, right? Not only adding one, we can add multiple data. So let me add one more. Let's say employee data dot add. Add, let me add the value B and the salary, let us let me put 15,000. Now, if I want to print it, how can I print? Can I print it like this? Message box, is it even possible in VBScript? Let's see. Will we get an error? Okay, let's see. So, let me double click it. Okay, see the document. So now number of arguments, invalid property, line number is six, one, right? So yeah, we cannot print it like this. So what do you how can you print it, right? So let us see employee Can you put can you add a key? 
right now will it work now it is an array you have to remember that will it work now so let's see see again the same error object does not support this property so now what you will do right so now you have to do a simple thing you have to print it you have to use a method or a for each statement so let us see for each statement here so for each key in employee data dot keys message box c will it work so let me double click it here dictionary dot vbs So first value is a yes. The second value is b yes. Right now, what if I want to type an item of this? Right. Let me copy the entire thing. Let me paste it here. So for each key in employ dot items right. Now, I'll put this as an item and I will add this as an item here, right? So, so let me double click this now. So, the first is A, so beginning of the value, second is B. Now, the value which comes first is 10,000 item and the second value is 15,000. So let me add a comment for this. We, I'll put the code in the description so that you guys can use it later. So what is the second concept we can use? So now I can use a condition, right? If condition, if employee data dot, do you have anything to compare? See, we have exists. Exists of what? Right, we can only give a key here. Okay, let me give a key here. Okay, then so end it. So we can write one condition here. Okay, so what condition I can give it here? So let me add the in the top. Let me put if condition in the top so that you can you guys can see properly. So now I want to display the exist item. So now, so if employee data does exist of A, then what I'll do, then I want to print message box, right? Then I want to put employee data of A. So I want to I want to see the entire employee data of A. Only if A exists, right? So let me double click it. So I want to see the employee data of A. So A is basically employee data is a salary. A salary is 10,000. So what if I give C, right? We don't have any A member as C. Now, if I double click it, nothing should come up. See? Nothing is coming because this will never enter inside. So what if I don't want B? What if like in between? I don't want B, I just want to have C. I want to add one more. And I don't want B in between, right? So, what I will do, so now it is created, right? So, now I can see the count also. So, in order to see the count, right? First, you have to, make, you can print the count actually. So, let me print the count. Employee. So, so let me copy the employee data here. So employee data dot if you put count is it see if you put employee data code dot count it will give you the number of list of data which you have right so let me double click it now so um so dictionary dot vbs so now we got an answer so we got two right now i want to add one more data to my employee data so so I'll add here 
now put dot add i want to add the c employee employee c right and i want to give the employee c as 30000 salary so what if i see the count now right here copy this after adding just print the count see now let me double click dictionary.vbs so initially the count is 2 afterwards after adding one more value the count is 3 so now i got one condition in between like let's say one requirement like okay so i got now one requirement stating employee has now resigned and and i want to remove the and i want to remove the employee b this employee is no more so i don't want to display the data of b so what i can do so we have employee data dot and okay i don't know if you guys can see or not let me put this on the top so yes yeah now it might be properly visible so that's it if i put dot you can see remove right so remove is a function here click on that just click on open bracket and what i can remove remove a key let's say let's take b and then right now print the count after removing b right just print the count and see whether the count is 3 or 2 okay okay so now let me double click it dictionary object see the count is now 2 so what are the items present in order to see the items you have to do it again see for each for each key in employee data dot keys okay so now you have to again print and see whether the key is a and c not b because we have removed b right so let me let me double click it the dictionary dot vbs so the count is 2 the first value of the count is a and the second value of the count is c so what if all the employees in this particular company have resigned right all so what we have to do right we can write like this so employee dot okay let me put this in the beginning again so now employee dot we have a method called remove all which doesn't take anything it removes basically everything so now let us now remove right let us comment let us comment this right let me take this comment the message box and let's see the count of removing everything right so let me double click it so see there is no one so this one basically giving the value here And you can explore more and more options as we have many options described here. We have keys, we have items, we have remove, we have remove all method. I'll be adding the necessary steps. So what is remove all? What is the count? How can how we can add an employee? How we can delete the one by using remove? how we can see the actual items actual employees present in this dictionary object etc so i'll be adding it in the description if you guys need further clarification let me know in the comments below
for now that's it for the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you're a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye